I first saw Kevin um, in 2011, I believe it was, just about a year after my brother's suicide, and listening to his story, um, particularly when you shared how you felt right after you jumped, and then when you were pulled onto the boat, and what they said to you, and how you responded, completely changed my perspective um, in my brother's, in thinking about how my brother may have felt right before his suicide, in the way that perhaps there was some ambiguity there, and he wasn't sure, um, that it, it truly was just a, an escape from the pain, and it was it was quite pivotal for me um, in my healing journey, so I'm, I'm very grateful, and I, and I do share your story quite often on your behalf. Phil, you're here at AAS 16, the American Association of Suicidology Conference, and you're here at your protocol table and booth and exhibit. Can you tell us about what you've got going on here today? Our ad campaign in New Mexico won an Addy Award for most, in, most influential campaign of the year. We were so excited, we decided we needed to come here to AAS and show the rest of our community what we've created with as far as the advertising in New Mexico. We created a campaign that went statewide in every media market in the state, on billboards, on radio, in Spanish, in Navajo, uh, for the last six months, and we created nearly a 100% increase in call volume to the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line, and that just blew us a 150% increase in hits to the website. So the word is getting out. And that's really important because in New Mexico, it has been really difficult to get that word out. It's a frontier state, it's a rural state, um, these are isolated communities, and our goal was to take our call volume on the crisis line from what was probably a fourth of what we had expected it to be, and really boost that up. And we're well on the way with this campaign, which by the way, is about eight months old. Oh, we're so excited and, and so grateful to as far as the advertising in Albuquerque, whose creative team worked with 17th and Montgomery and worked with Protocol uh, uh, to create this campaign. And the Addy Award is uh, it's an advertising industry award, and it goes to a variety of categories. And the, the premier category, of course, in advertising is to be the most influential campaign, and that's what as far as a one with the three and a half second campaign. Well, the story, um, well, there's many parts to it. The story of this particular campaign uh, is through the support of the Behavioral Health Services Division of the state of New Mexico that recognized a, a need for public awareness in New Mexico, which has had the fifth highest suicide rate in the country. And we know that connectedness is one of the most important anecdotes to suicidal ideation, suicidal thoughts. And to reach out into these isolated communi communities and let people know that there is a choice, a phone call, and there are counselors that are waiting for that phone call. We partnered with the state to move that message far and wide. Kevin Hines and I met about a year ago um, at, at this conference, I believe. And um, of course, I've, I've known Kevin's story for many years being in the field. Um, and Kevin's story is so incredibly powerful. And you may notice that the, the message, uh, the title of our campaign was three and a half seconds. And the power of that three and a half seconds comes right out of Kevin Hines' story. And that is the time that it takes to fall from the Golden Gate Bridge. We believe it's also about the amount of time it takes to call the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line instead. We realized that in the state of New Mexico, we had a real challenge of getting the message of the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line out. And, of course, I had known Kevin's story uh, for, for many years. And we reached out to Kevin Hines at 17th and Montgomery to help us create a campaign that could send a message of hope and recovery uh, from, from the perspective of a survivor. Kevin didn't miss a beat joined us in this campaign uh, to, to spread this message of, uh, of his pain is called three and a half seconds. And that's because three and a half seconds that it takes to fall from the Golden Gate Bridge, as we know from Kevin's story, 
And we believe it takes about three and a half seconds to dial the phone number to the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line. And we felt that was such a powerful comparison. So we worked on this campaign. Kevin worked with Esparza Advertising in Albuquerque, New Mexico, to put together a 30-second TV spot, as well as radio spots that have been translated into Spanish and Navajo as well, and have been playing in every media market in the state of New Mexico. I couldn't be more excited with not only the growth uh, in, in individuals accessing the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line, but also the, the, the recognition of the power of this campaign and the ability for us to, to share these ideas with the rest of our community here at AAS. Um, I couldn't be more proud I couldn't, uh, of the relationships that we've created and the impact that, that our team of protocol in the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line have been able to have as a result of this campaign. You can call the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line at 1-855-NM-CRISIS. I am the Chief Customer Officer at Protocol Services, and I oversee all of our relationships with all of our customers, um, including the New Mexico Crisis and Access Line, which is Protocol's most ambitious project um, to be the statewide Crisis and Access Line for the state of New Mexico, which we started in 2013. And it's been the most rewarding and biggest work I've ever done in my life. I've known Phil since 2001 when I started working at Protocol. I was a clinician on the floor for a couple of years and then a clinical supervisor um, for a couple of years and then our quality assurance and training manager at Protocol until 2006 and uh, moved with my family back to Colorado uh, for some family time and Phil called me back in 2012 to let me know about the project in New Mexico and we've been working together ever since to make sure that everyone knows that there is a place to call 24-7, 365 um, for crisis intervention support and we have worked together building a peer-to-peer -peer warm line um, which started in June of 2015 and just really doing amazing work around a campaign to get the word out in New Mexico, um, and that is the award-winning campaign with Kevin Hine. I had the opportunity to first uh, see Kevin speak um, in Las Vegas 2014, I believe, at the National Council, and I heard, I heard his story for the first time there and was um, moved beyond words and have just been following Kevin through social media and through the work that we've been doing with um, New Mexico Crisis and Access Alliance since then, just completely inspired and, and blown away by this man's courage and his ability to uh, share his story in a way that impacts others so that they will share theirs and, and come into recovery. <coughs> I've since dedicated my life to ensuring that people who are struggling find the support they need. Here in New Mexico, you can find that support at the New Mexico Crisis Access Center.
most important where you can reach them in about three and a half seconds. To those who've been broken Does anybody care Out there Does anybody care